Should you buy that lithium ETF? Lit versus individual stocks, we break it down. Lithium batteries are powering the future, and investors are flocking to lithium ETFs to get a piece of the action. But is a lithium ETF like Lit the right choice for you? Or should you be picking individual stocks? We'll break down the pros and cons of both options, weigh the risks and rewards, and help you decide which path is best for your investment strategy. So buckle up and get ready to chat ETF about lithium. Question 1. What is lithium ETF? A lithium ETF, or lithium exchange traded fund, is a type of investment fund that specifically targets companies involved in the lithium and battery technology sector. Let's break down what that means. Exchange traded fund, ETF, imagine a basket filled with various company stocks. An ETF holds multiple company stocks like this basket, but it trades like a single security on a stock exchange. So, you can buy or sell units of the ETF just like you would buy a stock. Lithium and battery technology sector, lithium is a crucial element for rechargeable batteries, which are essential components in electric vehicles, EVs, and many other electronic devices. This sector encompasses companies involved in various stages of the lithium and battery technology life cycle, including Lithium mining refining, companies that extract lithium from the earth and process it into a usable form. Battery production, companies that manufacture lithium-ion batteries for EVs and other applications. Electric vehicle manufacturers, while not the sole focus of all lithium ETFs, some may include companies that design and build electric vehicles which rely heavily on lithium batteries. Benefits of Lithium ETFs Diversification By investing in a lithium ETF, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You gain exposure to a variety of companies across the lithium and battery tech sector, which can help spread risk. Growth Potential the demand for lithium and battery technology is expected to grow significantly in the coming years, driven by the rise of EVs and the increasing need for energy storage solutions. This potential growth can benefit the companies within the ETF and potentially increase its value. Question 2. What is the lithium ETF's primary investment objective? The primary investment objective of a lithium ETF like the popular Global X Lithium Battery Tech ETF, LIT, is to track the price and yield performance of an underlying index focused on the lithium and battery technology sector. Here's a breakdown. Track an index, the ETF, doesn't pick individual stocks itself. Instead, it follows a predetermined index, like the sole active Global Lithium Index in the case of LIT. This index includes companies across various segments of the lithium and battery technology sector. Price and Yield Performance The ETF aims to mirror the performance of this index, meaning its price fluctuations and dividend payouts, if any, will generally reflect the combined performance of the companies within the index. By achieving this objective, the lithium ETF offers investors exposure to the overall growth potential of the lithium and battery technology sector. Here's a deeper look at what this translates to. Capturing sector growth, the core idea is to benefit from the anticipated rise in demand for lithium and battery technology. As the use of electric vehicles and renewable energy storage solutions expands, Companies involved in these areas are expected to grow. By tracking the relevant index, the ETF aims to provide investors with a stake in this potential growth. Diversification within the sector, the underlying index typically holds stocks from various companies across the lithium cycle, including mining, refining, and battery production. This diversification helps spread risk and avoid overdependence on the performance of any single company. It's important to note that the specific objective might differ slightly between lithium ETFs. Some might focus more on a particular segment within the sector, like lithium mining, while others offer broader exposure. 
While tracking the index is the primary objective, the ETF's actual performance may slightly deviate due to factors like fees and expenses associated with managing the fund. Overall, the primary objective of a lithium ETF is to provide a convenient and diversified way for investors to gain exposure to the growth potential of the lithium and battery technology sector. Question 3. Does the lithium ETF track a specific index? Yes, lithium ETFs almost always track a specific index that focuses on companies involved in the lithium and battery technology sector. This index selection is a core part of how these ETFs function. Here's why. Passive management, lithium ETFs are typically passively managed funds. This means they don't have a team of analysts actively picking individual stocks. Instead, they rely on a predetermined index to define the companies they hold. Benchmarking performance, the chosen index acts as a benchmark for the ETF's performance. The ETF aims to mirror the returns, both price appreciation and dividend yield, if applicable, of the underlying index. This allows investors to easily understand how the ETF is performing relative to the broader lithium and battery technology sector. Transparency diversification, the index composition is publicly available providing transparency into which companies the ETF holds. The index typically includes companies across different segments of the sector, like mining, refining, battery production, and even some electric vehicle manufacturers in some cases. This diversification helps spread risk and reduce the impact of any single company's performance on the overall ETF. Examples of common indices tracked by lithium ETFs Solactive Global Lithium Index, this is a popular index tracked by several lithium ETFs, including the Global X Lithium Battery Tech ETF, LIT. It includes companies across the entire lithium cycle, from mining and refining to battery production. STOX Global Lithium and Battery Producers Index, another example, this index might be tracked by some lithium ETFs offered in Europe. It focuses on companies with high exposure to the lithium sector, including miners, producers, and even innovators in battery technology. Question 4. If lithium ETF is actively managed, who is the sub-advisor and what's their investment philosophy? There seems to be a slight misconception here. Lithium ETFs, like the popular Global X Lithium Battery Tech ETF, LIT, are typically not actively managed. Their core function revolves around tracking a specific index focused on the lithium and battery technology sector. Here's why active management wouldn't be the norm for lithium ETFs. Passive approach, these ETFs aim to provide broad exposure to the sector by mirroring an index. This passive approach allows for lower fees compared to actively managed funds where a team of analysts incur costs in researching and selecting individual stocks. Transparency predictability, since they track a predefined index, the holdings of a lithium ETF are transparent and predictable. Investors know exactly which companies the ETF is invested in based on the index composition. This aligns with the goal of sector exposure rather than individual stock picking. However, there might be a few exceptions. Hybrid approach, in rare cases, some lithium ETFs might have a minor actively managed component alongside the core index tracking. This could involve a small allocation to a few select companies outside the main index, chosen by the fund manager based on their specific insights. Question 5. What is the underlying asset class of the lithium ETF? The underlying asset class of a lithium ETF isn't a single category, but rather a specific sector within a broader asset class, equity, stocks. Here's a breakdown. Equity asset class, at its core, a lithium ETF holds a basket of stocks from companies involved in the lithium and battery technology sector. Since these represent ownership in companies, they fall under the equity asset class. Sector focus, 
however, unlike a general stock market ETF that might hold companies from various industries, a lithium ETF focuses on a particular sector within equities, the lithium and battery technology sector. This sector encompasses companies across different segments like mining, refining, battery production, and potentially even some electric vehicle manufacturers. Understanding Asset Classes Asset Classes When building an investment portfolio, it's crucial to diversify across different asset classes. These are broad categories of investments with distinct risk-return profiles. Common examples include equities, stocks, fixed income, bonds, real estate, and commodities. Sector Allocation Within the equity asset class, there are further subdivisions called sectors. Each sector groups companies that share similar characteristics and business activities. By including a lithium ETF, you're increasing your exposure to the lithium and battery technology sector within your overall equity allocation. Benefits of Sector Allocation Targeted Growth Lithium ETFs allow investors to target the potential growth of the lithium and battery technology sector, which is expected to benefit from the rise of electric vehicles and renewable energy solutions. Portfolio Diversification While lithium ETFs focus on a specific sector, they still offer diversification within that sector by holding multiple companies. This helps spread risk compared to investing in individual lithium or battery technology companies. Important Considerations Sector Volatility The lithium and battery technology sector, like any sector, can be more volatile than the broader stock market. This means the price of a lithium ETF might fluctuate more significantly. Concentration Risk some lithium ETFs might be more concentrated on certain areas within the sector, like lithium mining, while others offer broader exposure. Consider your risk tolerance when choosing an ETF. Question 6. Does the lithium ETF employ any quantitative investment strategies? No, lithium ETFs typically do not employ quantitative investment strategies in their core operation. Here's why. Passive Management Most lithium ETFs are passively managed funds. This means they track a predetermined index that focuses on the lithium and battery technology sector. The index dictates which companies the ETF holds, following a predefined methodology. Index Composition The index selection itself might involve some quantitative analysis during its creation, but this isn't directly related to the ETF's management. Index providers consider various factors like market capitalization, liquidity, and industry representation when building the index. Quantitative Strategies versus Passive Management Quantitative strategies, these involve using mathematical models and statistical analysis to make investment decisions. Actively managed funds might use quantitative models to analyze companies, identify undervalued stocks, or build custom portfolios based on specific criteria. Passive Management versus Quantitative Approach Lithium ETFs, by passively tracking an index, don't utilize these quantitative investment strategies in their day-to-day -day operations. They rely on the predefined index to represent the sector's performance. Exceptions to Consider Hybrid approach, rare, in rare cases, a lithium ETF might have a minor actively managed component alongside the index tracking. This small portion could potentially involve a quantitative strategy for stock selection within that specific allocation. However, this wouldn't be the core function of the ETF. Question 7. How frequently does the lithium ETF rebalance its portfolio? The frequency of portfolio rebalancing for a lithium ETF depends on the specific ETF and the underlying index it tracks. Here's a breakdown of the factors involved. Passive management. Remember, lithium ETFs are typically passively managed, meaning they aim to mirror a predetermined index. Index rebalancing. 
The index provider, not the ETF itself, dictates how often the index rebalances its holdings. This rebalancing ensures the index continues to reflect its target composition. There are two main approaches. O fixed rebalancing schedule. Some indices rebalance at predefined intervals, like quarterly or annually. This ensures the index composition stays aligned with its target sector representation over time. O rule based rebalancing. Other indices might have a rule based approach. The index rebalances only when a specific deviation threshold is breached. This deviation could be based on a company's market capitalization exceeding a certain percentage of the overall index value. ETF replication The lithium ETF itself replicates the holdings of the underlying index as closely as possible. So, the frequency of the ETF's rebalancing will generally align with the rebalancing schedule of the tracked index. Question 8. How has the lithium ETF performed in different market conditions? Lithium ETFs, like many sector-specific ETFs, tend to exhibit higher volatility compared to broader market ETFs that track the entire stock market. This means their returns can be amplified in both strong and weak market conditions. Here's a breakdown of how lithium ETFs might perform in different scenarios. Bull market, rising stock prices. Strong potential growth. During bull markets where overall stock prices are rising, the lithium and battery technology sector, driven by the anticipated demand for electric vehicles and renewable energy, could experience significant growth. This translates to potentially strong returns for lithium ETFs as they hold companies' position to benefit from this trend. Example. If electric vehicle adoption accelerates beyond expectations and lithium demand soars, companies involved in mining, refining, and battery production within the ETF could see their stock prices rise dramatically. This would likely lead to a significant increase in the value of the lithium ETF itself. Bear market, falling stock prices. Heightened vulnerability. In bear markets when overall stock prices are declining, lithium ETFs could experience steeper losses compared to broader market ETFs. This is because the sector is tied to specific industries, and if investor sentiment weakens towards electric vehicles or renewable energy, companies within the ETF could be disproportionately affected. Example if concerns arise about the viability of electric vehicles or there are significant delays in battery technology advancements, companies within the lithium ETF could see their stock prices fall more sharply than the broader market. This would likely lead to a decrease in the value of the ETF. Market Volatility Amplified Swings Lithium ETFs are generally more volatile than broader market ETFs. This means their prices can fluctuate more significantly, both upwards and downwards, even during periods when the overall market is relatively flat. Example, news or events specifically impacting the lithium and battery technology sector, such as a breakthrough in battery technology or a new lithium discovery, could cause the price of a lithium ETF to swing more dramatically than the broader market in response. Here are some additional factors to consider. Underlying index composition, the specific companies held by a lithium ETF and their weightings within the index can influence its performance. An ETF with a heavier focus on lithium mining companies might perform differently than one that emphasizes battery production companies during various market conditions. Global economic factors, lithium demand and the performance of the lithium and battery technology sector can be influenced by broader economic trends. For instance, a strong global economy with rising consumer spending could benefit electric vehicle sales and positively impact lithium ETFs.